Hey. Hey, kids. Under the flag. Under the flag, baby. You're the Calio flag or what, Slim? Calio, Papa Colette. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I'm tuned in Calio Chill with the real deal. Got the homie under the flag, way down here from New Orleans. They marching band down here from um, Mardi Gras. Tell them who you is, family. Makai, Gay Symbols. School. Camp Talladega College. Not Toro. You know, do everything. Do all the competition. Let's go. The under that Calio flag. Ah. You heard me? Ah. <laughs> under that Calio yeah. flag. Salute. <laughs> Y'all tuned in to the real deal with Cali Go Chill. Been a minute since I tapped in with y'all, you heard me. Been out here at the Mighty Gras having a good time. Host as hell. Drinking grenades and all that, man. Knowing I can't drink, you heard me. It's beautiful down here right now. If y'all haven't visited New Orleans, take it at least once, once in your lifetime. You're going to enjoy it. Despite the violence, you're going to enjoy it, do you hear me? I'm tapping in with y'all today. We'll talk about all the prominent persons out in New Orleans. Not only out in New Orleans, but out the Cali. I got 10 of them for y'all. Prominent people, influencers, straight out the Cali. Didn't move back there. They grew back there from day to day. All these guys I'm about to mention. We're going to start off with Wilson Turbot. A.K.A. Willie T. Was a pianist. Good dude. Out the project. I remember him playing music all the time. All the time. All the time. Pulled his hand and play. You hear me? Playing the music. Yeah, when I was a little boy. You hear me? He the architect of the funk and soul down here in New Orleans. Google him. Willie T. Wilson Turbaton. Yeah, from New Orleans. From the Calio, from the bucket of the blood, he's under the flag. Yeah, check him out, Willie T. He's a pianist too. Go we'll talk about um number two, Michael Ball, professional football player. Yeah, played over seven, eight seasons. Played with the Colts, the Indianapolis Colts. Yep, he was a prominent figure. Out that blood under the flag, you hear me? Yeah, we played cornerback for the Colts. Great influencer, always came back to the community and stuff, you hear me? Always. You got Kenny Polite, the U.S. Attorney General, under Joe Biden, from By Rose to Heaven. Out the blood, out the bucket. He from New Orleans, and he from the Cali. They call it hell, but we call it home. And he was one of the guys that made it out. He went to Harvard. Real cool dude. I met him. Come back to the community. Yup. Real good dude. Lost a brother back there. He's from he's from the Cali, yo. The bucket, the blood, you heard me? You got Amir Barak. Amir Barak. He's an author. He's an actor. He's a youth mentor. He's a filmmaker. He couldn't read or write until he did prison time. He had suffered from dyslexia. He always tell his story. He has two books he wrote from the Calio, from the bucket of the blood under the flag. He did. He was do modeling and stuff for all um, No Limit Records. He been master people real cool. Yeah, he from the Calio. Real good dude, man. Come back and try to give his back, give his back to the community. Who else we got? Renell Gibson. Y'all who play on NC, NCIS, New Orleans. From the bucket of the blood. I've been knowing Lil Renell since he was young. Always been a cool, respectful dude, man. That's how his family raised him. Just inject a lot of morals and integrity in him. Y'all be played in all um, Safety, and he played in The Fallen. Yeah, Renell Gibson, Googling. 
out the Cali old project, man. <laughs> you heard me? He under the flag. What else we got? Oh, we got Harold Olsen. He played for Weber State. Great basketball player. He was supposed to come out in the draft. I don't know. Something went wrong with that. But he was good. Dick Vitale called him the show. I can remember the tournament they had. I forgot what year it was. But it was North Carolina they was playing. He put up 38 points. I think the guy in there, Okalaja or something like that. He was their big dog in North Carolina. And Harold went in there and punished him for 38. Called him the show. You know how big Vitale, oh, the show. He's from New Orleans, Weaver State. He in the tournament. He shut Okalaja down. Yeah. Shout out to Duke, man. Yeah, me and Harold we played ball together. Yep, yeah. on the same team, high school and park ball. Yep, yeah. real yeah. influencer. He coach overseas now. From the Cali, yo, under the flag. Who else you got? You got Lloyd, the singer. Lloyd is out the Cali, yo, from back of town by Rose Tabber. Yeah, he's out the Cali, yo. And you know he's a great influencer. He been in the music business for a minute, and he left him out in the, in the business. A great influencer, yeah, a lawyer out the county under the flag. You heard me? What else we got? <laughs> Randy Livingston. Now everybody in the city know about Randy Livingston. And everybody know about um, the dude Bolock out the Magnolia Project. And Randy was out the Cali, yo. So there was rifles at that time. And Bolock was real good. Real good. Real good basketball player. You everybody used to like to go see him play. Man. But Randy had then grown and grown and got taller and got stronger. He went to Newman. Newman put him on that, that, that good diet over there, that organic food. Took care. He went to school with um with Peyton and all of them over there at Newman, you hear me? Yeah, Randy Livingston out the Cali. Used to play ball with him in the gym. He was he was good. He was good then. We were playing pop ball. Slamming. Strong, young. Out the Cali. Back of town under the flag. Up yep, by Rose Tab. Shout out to Randy Livingston, man. Who else we got, man? We got on. What we got on? Oh, Harold Sylvester. Harold Sylvester, man, TV and filmmaker. Played on a lot of shows um, in the in, in the um, 80s and stuff, you heard me? From the Cali, yo. Yeah, Harold Sylvester. Yep. Out the bucket of the blood from back to town. All these dudes are prominent people, man. Like everybody, you know who was telling our story, don't really know our story because they can't tell you nothing about this. Not one of them who made a story about the Cali can tell you nothing about these prominent people we are. Uh, I'm speaking of, you heard me? They like to call it hell, but we call it home. And they try to say we slime buckets and we kill each other and things. That's not true. Don't believe all that false narrative out there. We're a loving community. We all get along. We treat each other right. We take care of each other. Like you say, it's take a village to raise a kid. You hear me? And that's what the Calio was about. You know, if you're wrong, you get dealt with. And if you're right, you know, you're going to get wrong with. That's just what it was back there, you know? You know, people are trying to make it like we were slime buckets, like we just were some mad killers just going around the city, just killing everybody. That's not true, man. That's not true. If you cross anybody out the project, man, you're going to get dealt with. 
And I'm more than sure that's anywhere in America. That's anywhere in the urban community. But this is why I say the Cali are the big dogs of the city. Because we always been influencers out the city. We always influence something. You hear me? Everybody wanted to be like the Cali, yo, man. You hear me? Even, even some of them dudes, old ladies, man. You hear me? They love that Cali, yo. For some reason. And let me tell you something. I didn't hear one of the girls say I, I wanted them project. Who? I don't care. I'm going to get beat up tonight. But I tell you what, I'm going in this Cali, yo, tonight. You hear me? So, bros, was, they'll get beat up after the, after the fact. But one thing about it, they're going to come through that Cali, yo, and peep in. You hear me? We got so many babies all over the city, you hear me? Yeah, man. Hey, that's why we stream Cali, yo, and we stream it passionately. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the kind of community it was. You always had influences. And everybody, like our supermarkets and our game rooms and stuff like that, was owned by all black people. Who was that? Owned by black people. All in our community. So we always been influencers. Always been. But, you know, people try to make us look like demons and, you know, heathens and things like that. But that's not true. Hear me? So that's why I'm here again, y'all, the story about all the prominent people. And I forgot some of them. Even the Neville brothers, the Neville family. Yeah, they were Neville and them. They have the Calio Project. All facts from Packertown. Some are from front of town. But they all carry your people, all influencers, all influencers, all prominent people out there carry your project, man. You can't take that from us. You hear me? That's what we produce. We produce geniuses, whether it's with, with the street, whether it's with music, whether it's with acting, uh, actress. Yeah, man, we that's who we are, man. And we forgot, we can't forget about Master P now. You can't forget about Master P and C now. Y'all already know the influence they had, you know, over the world and things like that. And who else? Like, who else, man? Dwayne Shelley, you heard me? Who fought against the construction companies? Who fought against KB Key? Who was rebuilding the process? Who was doing a rebuilding process in the Cali? Yo, um, he had a lot of um discrepancies going on. And I was one of the ones with, with the back end of my community. Um, we fought him. We fought him all the way to City Hall. They didn't want to hire people from the community. They was trying to tell us to wait when people was hitting nails in the wood. And every time we know a nail go in the wood, somebody getting paid. Yes, the way Shelley and me, I received a proclamation from the city for that. So a lot of prominent people come out there, Calio, man. It ain't just... No violent people and all that. And, and of course, y'all know Silk, Master P, and C Murder. Yeah, man, we, we go deeper than that. I can't remember too many of them right now. But Calio, man, that flag, that flag represents something real special. You hear me? So y'all keep tuning in, man. We're going to have great stories coming, man. I'm a little host right now. Mighty Gra got me screaming for bees and all kind of stuff. But I thank y'all for tuning in. Oh, hit the subscribe button. Press like if you like. Press dislike if you dislike. But you already know it's all facts. Y'all take care. Happy Mardi Gras, New Orleans.